What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross, back at again with another video. So, we gotta talk about most likely what's about to happen for night one, be the main event for night one. The Rock and Roman versus Cody and Seth. Now, it's a pretty clear indication that Cody and Seth are most likely are going to accept the challenge and they're gonna probably have their face-to-face -face next week on SmackDown. So Monday Night uh, Raw is gonna be a must watch to see their reactions and what they say. And then, you know, SmackDown is gonna be a must watch when they finally give, I guess, their official answer in front of Rock and Roman. That's gonna be peak cinema once again. So the real question becomes, since we know that's most likely gonna be the main event for night one, who takes the pinfall? And this has been in discussion, and we've talked about it before on the channel when the rumors were circulating, but who actually takes the pinfall in this particular situation? Now, I was in the camp for a little bit of maybe Seth Rollins eating the pin, but at the same time, it also depends on when Seth Rollins will be challenged, will, will be uh, defending uh, his championship title against Drew McIntyre. Now, if they're doing this for the main event of night one, I don't really see Rollins doing double duty. If anything, it, it may be a situation where Rollins has his match night two um, following up on this match. So if that is the indication, then it, it kind of is going to it's going to change how this match will who will eat the pin in this particular situation. Now, I'm going to go out here and say I don't see The Rock eating the pin. I don't see Roman eating the pin. I don't see them losing because you really don't need them to lose, especially if you're trying to set up a stipulation for night two. We know how this is going to go. They're going to stack the deck against Cody. This is not going to be like a traditional match. It's going to be bloodline rules. Anything goes. They're going to do whatever they can to stack the deck against Cody to make it seem as if he stands no chance. What is he going to do? The only way you do that, you would have to have Rock and Roman win. You would have to have them win. Because going into the match, if Cody and Seth wins, then... It's just a one-on-one, -on -one, no interference. I mean, that sounds logical for it to happen, but I don't think anyone wants to see that. Just a one-on-one -on -one with no interference? No, we want to see the shenanigans. We're here for the shenanigans. That's what it's been. We're here, we want to see the shenanigans and how it's going to play out and what stories are going to come from that. So it only makes sense if Cody and Seth lose. So now that we kind of got that out the way, I don't see Roman or The Rock losing. The question becomes, who takes the pin between Cody and Seth? Now, this is going to be a very tough one. Well, it really is not, because if, like I said earlier, if you have Seth Rollins facing Drew on night two, which I think that's going to happen, then most likely it's not going to be Seth. I know I was thinking it was going to be Seth, but most likely it's not going to be Seth. Most likely, it's probably going to give me Cody. Cody will most likely eat the pin. He's going to eat the pin. Now, I know some people are probably going to be typing. That doesn't make sense. It does. Because guess what? He's still guaranteed his championship match against Roman. All they're doing is setting up the stakes to make it that much harder for Cody. Now, there's going to be some shenanigans in this match. Y'all don't think it is? It's going. This not going to be no clean 2 on 2 match. I can tell you this now. There's going to be some BS that happens in this match. It only makes sense. There's going to be some BS that happens in this match and it's going to look like Cody and Seth are about to pull up a very big upset and boom, some BS is going to happen and Cody will end up losing because maybe a new member gets added or someone interferes from the bloodline and that's how Cody will lose. Cody and Seth will lose. It'll be a situation where Seth probably didn't have a chance to help out Cody depending on if it's a, a debt or distraction. Someone was holding him back and Cody will ultimately eat the pin because because of some BS. Because the bloodline had the numbers 
at some point. They're not going to play fair here. It only makes sense. So I think that's going to happen. And then from there, they can have the last shot of night one, Cody in a similar situation like he was last year. And Roman and The Rock talking trash and they're feeling good. But what I want it to be, and I hope it's a situation, I hope it's a situation where The Rock pins him. You don't need, Roman doesn't need to pin him. Roman doesn't need to pin him. It needs to be a situation where The Rock pins him and Roman gets upset or he's irritated. You can tell he's okay, they got, they got the win, but he wanted to pin him. And I think that's where some of the dissension is definitely going to ramp up because Roman's going to want to pin Cody. I can tell you this now, but I think The Rock is going to be the one to do it. And it's okay because you don't need Roman to pin him before his match, um, the match they have tomorrow. That makes, you don't need to do that just to have him eat a pin by the same guy. No. If anything, have The Rock pin Cody. Roman is a little bit upset and irritated about it because he wanted to pin him, and you build off that. You build off that. The Rock is on the high on the next night. Roman, he's irritated, but he's going to get the job done and do what he has to do, but he's irritated because, once again, he felt like maybe The Rock overstepped his bounds considering he just said on SmackDown that he acknowledged him but he took the pin. No. Roman wants all the glory. So that's how you set up their potential issues. You know, their dynamic. Because you know there's going to be some tension. They have two big egos. So, last shot of night one. Cody is just, you know, looking like he did last year. Defeated. But what is he going to do? Now, I don't know how you plan it out for night two. If anything... Most likely, I would still have Seth lose for night two. And what you could do, and I know they alluded to it, but you could have some type of interference with the bloodline. I, I would do that. Even though Drew kind of pointed it out, you can have some type of interference with the bloodline. The bloodline cost them the match in some way. Even though they already had their match, some members of the bloodline cost him the match just so Rock and, you know, can kind of push his weight like, yeah, y'all faced us, but you lost. And I'm just letting you know, this is how we running things. Do that for night two. Now, Seth has that, 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 that extra motivation to help out Cody. Hell, you can incorporate Triple H because Triple H is pissed or whatever the case may be. Now you start to, since it's, a bloodline rules, anything goes. It's not limited to Cody having help. Cody's trying to figure it out. And you can have that moment where Seth comes out there and has his back. You can have that moment where, you know, maybe some other people like Jay comes out there and has his back. Like, it, you can you can really do some things. Well, I'm not sure. I don't really know the specifics. But I would still have Seth come out there and help him because the bloodline is going too far. And he's going to do whatever he can to help him. Now, at this point, now you have Cody with some reinforcements. It's more of a, a maybe, I guess you could say, even playing field. Because at the beginning of the match, it needs to be Cody somewhat by himself. So you can see, like, damn, what is he going to do? And the ref can't do nothing. He has to watch his back at all times. And Roman's just feeling good because he knows what's up. But then once help starts coming in into the mix, you can then start building up some more tension between The Rock and Roman. And maybe it's a situation where they potentially get into it. And it ultimately, that distraction ultimately costs Roman. And he ends up losing in some form of fashion. You can do something like that. Where there's a little bit more dissension. But because of their dissension, because of the issues and them, their, you know, the issues that they're having especially from The Rock pinning Cody last night. It causes a little bit of that distraction. Cody gets the window opp opportunity. One, two, three, and there you have a situation where finally Cody defeats Roman. He dethrones him and becomes the new champion. And now you can build upon 
the issues that you know the Rock and Roman are going to have. Now, it doesn't have to be that way, but I do think the seeds need to be planted at WrestleMania to build towards something going forward into the future, most likely next year's WrestleMania, and you can really build off of that. And you can have the Rock say, well, to be honest, I did my job. I pinned Cody on night one. It was a layup. I put it in a situation where you had all the advantages and you still failed. You could do something like that. There's, oh, there's so many options, but I am in the camp of at least having Cody lose, getting pinned by The Rock because it's okay. It's going to be some bullshit that causes The Rock to win, which is okay. And he can take that loss because one, it's The Rock. And two, he still has his championship match. And you want to build the story of what's going to happen. How is Cody's going to over, overcome this? Will night two match between Rock and uh, Cody and Roman be overbooked to hell? Most likely. <laughs> but it's going to be the story that people want to see. How is this going to play out? Who's going to have Cody's back? So that's just my thoughts on it. I'm going with uh, Cody and uh, Seth losing night one. Cody eat the pin from The Rock. Night two, Cody getting his revenge and pinning Roman Reigns with Roman Reigns having all the help he can have, but also having some help from Seth Rollins and other people on the roster who want to stand up to uh, the bloodline. Hell, if you want to really just go balls to the wall crazy, you have Stone Cold. You have Cody enlisting the help of Stone Cold. If you want to do that, just to really equal it off, star power for star power, you can do something like that. That would be a holy S moment if you had Cody in the ring next to Stone Cold and the Roman in the ring next to The Rock. Bro, the crowd would go crazy. You can have other people fighting around the ring, but the crowd, that shot, that zoom in, Cody, Stone Cold, The Rock, and and Roman Reigns in the same ring, bruh, bruh, and that could be a situation where it helped Cody neutralize and get that one-on-one with Roman, I'm just, just spitballing, we don't know, if that doesn't happen, I still think it would still be a cool moment, once again, they can find a way to make it that entertaining. So comment down below. Let me know. Who do you guys would have? Um, who would y'all have win for night one in this tag team match? Would you have Rock and Roman win for night one? Or would you have Cody and Seth win from night one? And who eats the pin in both situations? Let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love and support. Guys showing on the channel. Road to 150K. And I'm still young. Speedy YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See you on the next one. Peace.